A Utah organization spent the weekend handing out hundreds of kits to rural law enforcement agencies to help officers and deputies who come into contact with a person with uh, a disability, maybe an autism diagnosis or other disability that is similar to that. Yeah, they're now expanding at who has access to these kits. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is live outside the University of Utah Hospital, where Lauren, they say these kits have already been helping people. Yeah, Deanie and Mike, so the U of U ER room here just received those autism sensory bags two days ago. And already they say they are helping staff with patients who are in crisis to connect to them and bring calm. These blue bags are simple, packed with a few items. And then we just have fidget toys in here. But Michelle Hiles with the Autism Council of Utah knows these few simple things make a huge difference for people with an autism diagnosis. It's scary and it's chaotic. When they experience emergency situations, coming into contact with law enforcement. They're usually you know, covering their ears. So if you offer them some headphones, they immediately will put them on. Michelle's goal is to get these bags to every sheriff's office and police department in Utah. And last weekend, I took a little road trip <laughs> and uh, went to four sheriff's offices um, in the rural area of Utah. Michelle passed out a couple hundred bags to deputies at Juab, Millard, Emory and Carbon counties. I witnessed them, put them directly in their patrol cars and they're ready to go. She's also looking to expand to fire departments and hospitals. We delivered just a handful to the University of Utah emergency room. When I first got the bag, I'm like, oh, there's just a few items in here. And then as I started looking at them, I'm like, yeah, this is great. Dr. Deborah Builder at U of U Health took in those sensory bags and already helped a patient last weekend. He does not have language. By, he doesn't have words. So this was a PEX. He started using it um, to communicate. Um, it's very loud in emergency rooms. Um, he had these to help muffle the noise. A simple yet effective resource. So it comes with a little marker and then they can they can point. That Michelle hopes will become a tool across the state to bring calm during chaos. Nobody wants to have to call 911, but when they do, we want, we want it to be a positive experience for people to, you know, we just need a little extra help. Yeah, and the Autism Council of Utah has handed out 3,000 of these sensory bags to different places. They say thanks to funding from Doug Smith's Subaru, but they've got 1,200 more they'd like to hand out in the coming months and expanding to new places like ER uh, hospital rooms. Deanie. Yeah, it's great to see that. What a big help that can be. All right, Lauren, thank you. Yeah, thanks.